In your Traffic Tuesday report, here in Springfield, there are many different ways to make a left turn depending on the intersection. And when turning left and being guided by an arrow at a traffic signal, it may seem like some lights are longer than others. Hannah Zettel's in studio today to help break this down for us. Good morning, Lauren and Joe. It's true, some green or flashing yellow arrows last longer than others. That all depends on how congested oncoming traffic is compared to the number of motorists wanting to turn left. I spoke with traffic signal engineer Jason Saliba to find out just how many cars should make it through the arrow on time. The minimum green time for a left turn arrow is usually going to be uh, five to seven seconds. It might go anywhere um, up to 10 to 20 seconds. It just depends on the intersection. With that minimum time of about seven seconds or so, uh, you're probably going to get about five cars through per lane. If you're at an intersection with dual left turn lanes, um, be sure to use both lanes because a lot of times we'll see congestion in at that at that left turn because everyone's piled up in one lane and, and the other lane's not being used. Flashing yellow arrow uh, versus the solid arrow. Um, the solid green arrow. It, it assigns that driver looking at that arrow the right of way, so they have the right of way at that point. However, if they're looking at a, fl at a flashing yellow arrow, then that uh, is telling them caution, use caution, you have to yield to the people on the other side of the intersection. It's the same thing as a circular green. Uh, there's been studies that show that, that, that there's a higher uh, correct response to the, to the flashing yellow arrow. That will wrap up this week's Traffic Tuesday tip for you. If you have a traffic question you want answered, let me know on Twitter or Facebook, and it might be featured.